full street meets with Jason Punchin, man. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us, man. And let's start off with MK Dons, right? So you were at Wimbledon as, as a youngster coming through, and a lot of players moved to another team. You moved to another, another city, town. Yeah, yeah, moved to another city. What, what, was, what was that like? It was difficult at the start, you know, being used to Wimbledon, the culture we had there, the, the group we had there, it was difficult, but we adapted to it, you know, and I think MK Dons has been going really strong for a long period of time, and not being far off the championship. Was it difficult being in that kind of, there was a lot of, I guess there was probably a lot of tension with the with the move. Was that was that weird or were you just cracking on with being a football? There is, when I look back at it now, at the time you don't think that. When you look back at it, you say that. But then obviously you've got to adapt to certain situations and I think we've done that and handled that quite well. I think the chairman Pete Winkleman has done a fantastic job. Yeah. And so after that, this is the great stat that I love, is that you've scored in all of the leagues, League Two, League One, Championship and, and the Premier League, where, where, we, where we see you week in, week out now. Um, what well, I wanted to ask you, what is each league what is each league like? What's the differences in, e in each league? Very different. Um, I think you'll probably say that League One and League Two are very similar. You know, but then the Championship, you can play top teams that are really good, that really should be in the Premier League, you know, and then you sort of get the lower Championship teams. But definitely the pitches, yeah. <laughs> the stands, the stadiums, the travel arrangements, you know, I think that obviously is a lot different to when you're in the Premier League. And let's, let's fast forward to uh, Crystal Palace, now you're Croydon boy. Does it? Do you think that you give that a little bit extra because you're you're a Croydon boy? Can you see that in terms of like, because you've been in some difficult situations with Palace and you always seem to thrive under it when you're in those relegation battles or when you've been in them. Well, how do you feel when you're in those situations? Do you think the fact that you're a local lad makes a difference? I think subconsciously I wouldn't say so, but maybe it does. You don't you don't know. I always feel I'm giving. Yeah my all, 100%, whatever club I played for. But those results on a Saturday do mean a bit more. You know, when you walk and see your mates that you've known for years that have been Palace fans and you see the normal people that have been Palace fans that you know for years and you've walked those same streets as them. So it does hurt that a little bit more. And well, and there was last year, there was an amazing moment. I loved it, man. I mean, you got that goal and there was that. I remember you saying a lot of it was frustration, but talk us through that moment. I think, again, a lot of it, frustration, not winning so many games. I was injured for a bit. I didn't score. So you always feel all those pressures and people question, Has he still, can he still this, do that? And you score an important goal at an important time. This year, it's been difficult at times for, for the team as a whole. Um, but Sam Allardyce has come in and I think everyone just expected it to work straight away. And it's taken a little time, but wins against Arsenal, wins against Chelsea. Uh, what's Sam Allardyce done to, to turn it around? He's been brilliant. You know, he's very black and white in what he wants. You know, and I think it took him a bit of time to get his message across and everyone to get used to him. And I think that's shown now in the way that people have played and what they're doing, the results they're producing, and the teams they're beating. Everybody's full of confidence, but we're still in the job. It's not over yet. You know, we've still got points to play for and games to win. Our fans feel like Allardyce is a little bit different to to other managers. He's a bit more chilled out, a bit more relaxed. What's what makes him different? Is he is he a bit more? Do you have a few more jokes? Is he a bit more relaxed? What's, what's he like? I wouldn't say he's more relaxed, you know, just because the people may not see him up and down the touchline, animatic and stuff like that. But, you know, in the dressing room, he's very vocal. Training ground, he's very vocal. You know, we respect that as players and that's proven in the results that we're obviously getting. And last question, because I know you're busy, Matt. Um, so, 30-year-old man now, is that right, 30? Yeah. All right. So, you're coming into those, those last few years, I guess. What, what are your aims uh, as the captain of Crystal Palace and, and what, what are you hoping for in the next Honestly, in the, last the most years? important thing here and now is to stay up in Premier League, you know, and the future, I can't really predict where that's going to be. Um, maybe I'm not too sure about that, but the most important thing is the here and now. I think if you take care of the here and now, the future can be dealt with later. Thank you so much for talking to us, man. I appreciate it, mate. So that's Jason Punch, the man, the legend. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, click like, subscribe to Ball Street and let us know your thoughts on Crystal Palace and Jason Bunchin in the comments below. And we'll be back the next time. Thanks a lot.